congruent to angle G because of the reflexive property. Right? That's a Because mm -hmm. it's the same <laughs> angle, right? Yeah. And so reflexive, or in this case, you could actually call it identity. Okay? It's the same angle. Right? Um, so therefore, angle, angle. So these are similar because of angle angle. We have two angles that are coming through. Pretty easy? Is that it? That's it. 
Okay. What does the top one say? Like on the right side? Uh, definition of a 90 degree angle. Okay. Right? Maybe move up front. And then identity. But if you write something wrong, that's important. And then we've got this one, KLM. So let's look at KLM is the red one. So I'm going to go from K to L to M back to K. Okay. And then the brown one, K N L K. Oops, K N L. All right, they want to prove that these are um, similar. They want to prove that these are similar. Okay? Well, one thing I know is I, that LK it is congruent to uh, KL, right? Because of reflexive. Okay? So we know that much. Um, I also know that the angle K is congruent to the angle K, right? Because they're identity. Same angle, right? So we have this one, and we have this one, right? So we have a congruent side. Ooh, a congruent side. We don't care about congruent side. We want proportional sides, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we don't care about congruent sides. So this one's not going to matter too much to us because it's congruent. We want it to be proportional. So. Uh, do Another information five. Um, so we know we have one angle that's the same, and that's it. Um, and do we have any proportionality going on? So is LK is that proportional to MK? Right. Or is NK proportional to LK, right? And so what would, um, if this is the bigger one, right? Mm -hmm. This is the smaller one, right? So what's the proportion between 6 and 4? How would I go from 6 to equal to 4? Minus 2. Uh, it's always proportions having to do with multiplication, right? So, somehow, I'd have to get to a 4, right? Mm -hmm. So, 2 thirds of 6 is 4. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so, if I'm trying to get to 4 and that works, so I can say that these two could be proportional if, if, uh, if what? Yeah. Six times two thirds equals four. Let's I mean, see if so. We're talking about K L M, K L M, and K N K N. So we're K L and K N have to be proportional. So K L and K N. That's what we did here, right? K L. And then we'd have to prove another one, either KM and KL, right? Wait, Dan, put in uh, KL and KN, how would, don't you have, do you have to make it work both ways or what? Yes. So what I need to do is look at KM. Right? Mm -hmm. Which would be 9. And it needs to be proportional to KL. 
which is, in our case, 6. So is 2 thirds of 9, is that 6? Yeah. Ah, okay. Cool. That means that K L is proportional or similar to uh, to K N. And KM is similar to KL, then their proportion is oops, two thirds, okay, which would give us two proportional legs, right, mm -hmm. or sides, right. And this would give us one angle. And these sides would be, now is the side in between, is the angle in between the sides that we're talking about. So when we talk about KL, right, and then go to KM, is this angle in between it? Yeah. Good. Then when we talk about KN, Right? And KL is this angle in between it. Right? Mm -hmm. So then we have S A S. Okay? So you just walk through and find out the rest from one one side. And if it, it either works or it doesn't work. But we're using these specific uh, sides. We had to use KL is proportional to KN if and only if KM is proportional to KL with the same ratio, which we proved. And then the angle, I can just, can I just plug in the angle like anywhere in between two sides? Because that equals it. Well, you can't just plug it in anywhere, but yeah, of course it does equal it. But it has to be side angle side, right? But for, um, for it to work. So that means this angle that we're looking for has to be in between the two sides that we found were proportional. But wouldn't uh, wouldn't you have to write um, three letters for LK? I mean, it is just angle LK. Three letters for LK. Like LKM or. So. Uh, how does. KL is in red. KN is in brown. Right? And, and then the next one is KM in red. But then it's congruent to the, or it's not congruent, it's similar to the KL that's in brown. See how they're different? These are two different KLs. Even though they're the same KL. Right? That's cheap, Dan. They're two different KLs. That's cheap. One's from one, one's from the other. That's yeah. cheap, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry, this way the work, world, world works. So sometimes, <laughs> you know, they're congruent, it doesn't matter, right? And we have to look at their proportionality. But still, when you have to write LKM to make a K the angle, or. Yes. Well, no, no. K L M. I mean, K is the angle. You wouldn't have to use it as K L K M. Then why did you write um L K for the angle instead that's of That's not L K. That's angle K. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's what was messing up. Oh, okay. that. no, that's angle K. Angle. Sorry. Angle. Looked a little bit like an L. Right. So we good? Yeah. Alright. Long one, right?